Hello everybody, I'm GamerCoder. In the past couple weeks, the Nintendo Switch 2 has gotten a handful of games to go along with it. One of those games is Mario Kart World. When I was watching the Mario Kart World Direct, I thought I could recreate this easily in Scratch. And that's exactly what I did. For the first day, I loaded up a new Scratch project and temporarily called it Mario Kart World 2. Since I'm an expert game developer, and I will obviously make a better Mario Kart game. Don't quote me on that. The next thing I did was Google a picture of Mario and Mario Circuit 1 from the SNES. How do I plan to make this game? Well, since Scratch doesn't support 3D graphics, I decided to make it a top-down scrolling game giving the illusion of 3D. The camera would track the player from above and scroll the map and everything else it needs to scroll, but not actually move the player. I eventually got smooth movement, as well as turning and scrolling into the game. I added off-road slowing by having an invisible track matching the background track on top. One thing I do a lot in regular Mario Kart, and I mean a lot, is drifting. So I took some time to code that up and put my art skills to the test by drawing each drift speed by hand and connecting that to the player. Cool. I didn't know what else to add since we basically have Mario Kart, so I made a list on Google Docs of everything to add in a Mario Kart remake. After barely getting a good list, I asked my friend ChatGPT for a list of core mechanics of Mario Kart so I could recreate it, and ChatGPT saved this video. So I deleted my old list and added the things that ChatGPT told me, and I was ready to code. The first new thing to add was the lap system. In Mario Kart, you start with one lap. Every time you go around the track and cross the finish line, you gain a lap. After coding that up, I was able to get the laps working before the day ended. Okay, so remember when I said I got drifting working? Yeah, I was kind of lying. The drifts don't have any speed boosts at all, no matter how long you drift. So I made another Google Doc with a list of what I wanted to get done for each day. For today, I wanted to add a countdown, get the drifting finished, collision with walls, some more characters, and a title screen. Before I got the drifting fixed, I added the race countdown and even some sounds. After some coding, the countdown was added and it was time to fix the drifting bug. And I did that. And I finished that. Next up were walls. I did the same thing as the track by having an invisible image of the walls on top of the background just to make collisions easier. Then I added spinning out the cart, like... Okay, there's a, there's a cart and it spins and you spin it out. Yeah. Anyways, after some coding and debugging, I figured it's a good time to add more characters, so I got my boy Luigi in the game. I tried to get Bowser in but I couldn't find a good picture of Bowser from a bird's eye view. But then I found an image of all the retro characters from the original game from a top-down view. So I manually got all the characters one by one into the game. And we finally have all the characters from the original Mario Kart for the SNES. The game looks so good, I could barely tell any difference. The characters we have in so far are Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Toad, Bowser, Yoshi, Koopa, and Donkey Kong. The last thing I needed for today was the title screen. Actually, I never finished that on day two. The thing that distracted me was that Nintendo was going to empty my bank account for clearly making their top game way better. So to get around that, I needed new characters. The only problem is, I don't have any main characters on my channel, but I do have some on my Scratch account. So let's take a look. My most popular character on Scratch is this purple robot guy in a Scratch-tastic platformer. So I wanted to add him in. If you don't know what he is, he's this robot that jumps around levels and platforms dodging red squishy guys and lava collect apples and get to the earth portal. So now that you got familiar with the robot guy, which I'll just call a robot, he's gonna be in the game. I got some more characters from my demo game, Chain Pop, by just adding in the bubbles we encounter in the game into our Mario Kart game. 
Okay, so the characters from yesterday are saved in my Google Doc, but they aren't in the game yet. This is because I have to add in the title screen. I looked at the footage from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and there was a dark checkerboard pattern in the background. So I made that appear in the title screen. Another thing that shows up is the game title. Remember when we had to think of new stuff to replace Nintendo stuff in my game? An obvious thing was the game name itself. Right now, it was just called Mario Kart World 2. But we can't have that, because it's Mario. Nintendo. They're going to empty my bank account. So, to put everything into one name, I called this masterpiece Gamer Kart. Referencing the channel name, Gamer Coder. Along with this picture showing up, there's also sounds of carts driving, and then Mario screaming. Mario Kart 8! So what do I do? I scream Gamer Kart. But that's screaming back, Gamer Kart what? Since this game is the first in the series, I'll scream, Gamer Kart 1! Well first, I have to record some cars. I don't personally own any cars, so let's use my talented voice. <sighs> After that, I needed some reference videos to make my life easier by kindly asking YouTube for some advice. After hearing Mario scream magic words, I was ready. Anyways, let's get right to it. <clears throat> I have a microphone. Look at it. It's small. There's supposed to be a wire. I wish this actually worked, but it doesn't. Okay, well, anyways, uh, let's just record it. Gamer Kart 1! Perfect. That is perfect. Let's listen to it. Gamer Kart! One! Perfect! I also made the title look pretty. I finished the intro of the game, and now it was time to make this picture here, featuring Mario and Rainbow Road. I can't do Rainbow Road, even though I did anyways. So I asked my good friend ChatGPT for a list of all 96 tracks. Oh boy. I decide to only change the first four cups and add one of those four into the game since I only have one week, not one year. After thinking of the tracks I needed, I used my perfect voice to make the title screen music. All right, let's record this. I'm very talented, so this will work very good. Doo 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 doo. Yeah, so I got so excited that I turned on my microphone and face cam. But reading a script makes editing the video much easier. The goals that I had planned for today was to add the flames after a boost, add two new maps, and finish the title screen. Okay, so I got Robot in. I forgot what I did with the footage of making him, but he's there now. I also finished the background at some point, probably after making Robot. I eventually got the boost flames working and kept working on the title screen. Right now, you're probably thinking, why is this guy always working on the title screen? My answer to that is, I work slow when I'm not locked in. I always get distracted or something like that. I recorded the music for the part after the title screen, like the second phase of the title screen, where you pick your driver and tracks and stuff. Do 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 do, do 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 do, do 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 do. I wasted my time on getting this to work with a controller, even though nobody's gonna play this with a controller let alone at all. I added a multiplayer button, but it just does the exact same thing as the single player button. I mean, reduce, reuse, recycle. It was Earth Day recently, so. After getting the title screen finally mostly working, it was time to put my art skills to yet another test by drawing and designing the maps I thought of originally, starting with Gamer Kart Stadium. I didn't even make it a stadium, except for these quote unquote bleachers. Also, it's on an island. One of the last things I had to do for Gamer Kart Stadium was the music. One of the best parts about Mario Kart is the music, so clearly this was important. I even used a premium high-level VIP music making software, Chrome Music Lab. To get used to it, I made the Crash Bandicoot song, like the dun 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 My technique was to put some random mess into one project and put what I hear but better into the final song. I also may or may not have added a little Rickroll hidden in the song. Whenever you want to listen to any songs from the tracks, just play the game for yourself 
by clicking the link in the description down below. I put the music in the game after I finished making the song, and it worked! The last thing I wanted to do today was add a track selector to select which track you want to play. I actually made a stupid move by adding a track selector, not a cup selector, each cup having four tracks to race in like the real game. So what I did was design images for the four cups that I planned. The pepper cup, the grass cup, the planet cup, and the unique cup. I really only needed one cup in the game, so I didn't have to rush these maps. The second map to make was Lava Park, which is a park with lava. I know, clever name. No need to thank me. The really hard part was making music for this track. I wanted a mountain-themed song because it was like lava and mountains, so I asked ChatGPT for some help. It took me like two hours to realize that both me and ChatGPT didn't know what we were doing, so I just used a jumbled mess as the music. In Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, there's a final lap notifier when you reach lap 3, so I made that to end off the day. Today was a new day, and a new day is new me. So I got straight to work adding the rest of the characters I had on my Google Doc. They were actually just some circles with faces, so it wasn't too hard. Now, the next thing I had to make were AI drivers. And as you all know, AI is stupid. And since I'm a genius, it worked on the first try. The last thing I wanted to do was add a character selector to change the driver to the player's liking. So I just copied over the cup selection screen, and BOOM! We have a character selector. I also added a display so you know what you will look like and who you're driving as. I also made it so that the AI can be any random character. Okay, last day. We basically already have a working game, complete with driving, AI, like two maps, a bunch of characters to play as, a title screen, and more. All I really needed to do was improve the GUI and add more maps. I first improved the lap counter, since it's just this boring scratch value recorder, so I made my own version that's similar to the original. Since I'm a genius, I made it so that you can proceed to the next track on the cup when you finish. The only thing left to do now was design the rest of the maps. So I got to work and cooked up spicy spicy hills in Toy Store track. So now that we have all the things for a full game, it's time for the grand finale, the play test. Is it good? Let's find out. Okay, did you get your popcorn? Cause Gamer Cart 1 is in the books in three, two, one. And in this playthrough, we're only gonna play uh, all of Pepper Cup. If you wanna see more gameplay, uh, it's on my second channel. Without further ado, let's hit single player. I'm gonna do this playthrough while selecting the robot and Pepper Cup. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate your time with me, and I had a lot of fun making this game. If you want to play it, the link's in the description. Anyways, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons for more content like this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.